the flying saucer from Atlantis reappears in a Magic's next game cartridge, Cosmic Arc, which, as you may have guessed from its title, presents the mission of visiting different planets in the galaxy and retrieving a pair of creatures from each for the repopulation of Atlantis. We can only assume these creatures to be one male, one female. There are two types of screens in Cosmic Arc, which alternate throughout the game. First, the player ship is besieged on four sides in space by meteors. When the meteor shower is over, the Ark appears above a planet. This first planet has no defensive system, so retrieving both creatures with your tractor beam should be no problem. With the second creature safely aboard, head back to the Ark. Then it's off into space for another meteor shower. The defensive system on all subsequent planets fires a horizontal laser every two seconds across the screen. If your saucer gets zapped, you've got to try again. When you hear this warning sound, head back for the ship. It will beep eight times and then a single meteor will appear to destroy the Ark if you are not back inside. Any time you retrieve just a single creature, you'll be placed back on the same planet after the meteor shower and there will be just one creature left there to retrieve. Remember which side it will be on. Sure, the little creatures in this game are cute, but they're fast, too. You've got to psych them out with this super strategy by boxing them into a corner with a series of quick maneuvers like this. Move, send down a beam, move, etc., until the creature has nowhere to go but up into your saucer. After visiting a number of planets, it becomes more and more difficult to retrieve both creatures safely on the same visit. Watch what happens on this planet. We retrieve the first creature only to get zapped by the defensive laser, so we have to retrieve it again. With time running out, we head back for the ship with a single creature and battle the meteors. During the meteor showers, take a glance at your fuel supply represented by the red line. If you're running low, there's no time to waste. On the second visit to this planet, we get zapped retrieving the second creature, and now both creatures are back on the planet. We get zapped again and are forced to leave empty-handed. On the third visit to the planet, we find time to capture both creatures, but are hit by a meteor, which puts the creatures back on the planet's surface once more. Getting hit by a meteor forces you to go through that same meteor shower again. Finally, on the fourth trip down, we manage to capture both creatures, though not without difficulty, make it back to the ship, and blow up the meteor, which gives our ship extra fuel.